Hi everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the modal class and an estimate for the mean average from a grouped frequency table. If you want to work along with me on this PDF, you can download this from my website, mrmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. So in our first question, we're told that a grouped frequency table gives the information about the number of visitors to a wildlife park each day last June. For part A, we've been asked to work out the modal class for the daily visitors. So the modal class refers to the most common, and this is the class with the highest frequency, or in this case the highest number of days, which is this 12. So the modal class will be where you have between 0 and 20 visitors. A common mistake here is to write the answer as 12, but we're asked for a class, which is this one here. Okay, so for part B, calculate an estimate for the mean average number of visitors to the park last June. So we should know that the mean average is the total of the data divided by the sample size. The problem is, we can't work out the exact total, because all we know is that the 12 days had between 0 to 20. We don't know if this 12 was exactly 5 visitors or 8 visitors. We just know it's within this class. So the way we get around this is that we choose the median of each class and we call this the midpoint. So the middle between 0 to 20 would be 10. So we're estimating that on each of the 12 days there were 10 visitors. And this is why it's a mean estimate, not the exact value. So then to work out the total number of visitors on these 12 days, we just multiply the 12 by the 10. And this will give us a total of 120 visitors. So between 20 and 40, we'll have a midpoint of 30. Between 40 and 60, a midpoint of 50, 70 and 90. So the total number of visitors in these five days will be about 5 times 30, which is 150. And then we'll have a total of 6 times 50 for these six days which gives us 300 visitors. And then we'll have 3 times 70, so 210. And then the 4 times the 90, which gives us 360. So now we can add each of these number of visitors up, and this will give us our total. And this will be 1,140 visitors. And then to work out our sample size, we could add up the total number of days but we know there's 30 days in June. So we'll divide this by 30 and we'll get the mean average as an estimate of 38 visitors per day. Okay, let's try another question. Okay, so in this question, we're told that the table gives information about the ages in years of 50 visitors at a sports event. We've been asked to write down a modal class and to calculate an estimate for the mean. So using the handout you can get from my website, if you want to try this question yourself, you can pause the video and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back. So the modal class will be the class with the highest frequency and the highest frequency is 16. So this will be our modal class. And then to work out the estimate of a mean average, we need to work out our total so we need the midpoint of each of these classes and the middle value between 20 and 30 is 25 between 30 and 40 is 35 45 55 and 65 and then we can work out the total age of these four people as 4 multiplied by the 25 so this will give us a total of 100 years then we'll have a 9 times the 35 which is 315 years the 15 times of 45, 675, and then we'll multiply the 16 by the 55, and the 6 by the 65. So now we can work out our total by adding each of these together. So we'll have a total of 2,360 years shared between these 50 people. We can work this out on a calculator, and we get an average of 47.2 years old. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. 
If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson and this PDF from my website, mrmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.